Hello my dear students and welcome to this week overview. During this week we are going to be talking about electromagnetic waves. Specifying that we are going to be talking about the speed of electromagnetic waves. Michelson's experiment. In 1926 the American physicist Albert Michelson measured the speed of light more accurately than ever before. Michelson placed an eight-sided rotating mirror and another mirror that one stationary about 35.4 kilometers apart. Knowing that rotation speed that produced an uninterrupted light beam, he was able to calculate the speed of light quite accurately. Michelson timed a light beam as it traveled from one mountain to another and back again. His experiment measured the speed of light more accurately than it had been measured before. So I have here an octagonal rotating mirror and I have here a mirror on the other side of the mountain. Then I have here a light source and I have a telescope. And the distance is 35.4 kilometers apart. Since Michelson and many other scientists have measured the speed of light, all electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed when in vacuum, regardless of the observer's motion. How do electromagnetic waves differ from one another? Electromagnetic waves vary in wavelength and frequency. The speed of an electromagnetic wave is the product of its wavelength and its frequency. The speed of electromagnetic waves in a vacuum is constant, so the wavelength is inversely proportional to the frequency. As the wavelength increases, the frequency decreases. Then we are going to be moving to calculating the wave speed. So for example, a radio station broadcasts a radio wave with a wavelength of 3 meter. What is the frequency of the wave? So firstly, we are going to understand what, is inf what information is given to us. So firstly, we have the speed, which is c, which is 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Then I have the wavelength, which is 3 meters. I take them both and I put them in my equation. Equa the equation is speed equals frequency times time, but in this case, I need to find and calculate the frequency. So I'm going to make the frequency the subject, dividing the speed over the wavelength. After that, I put them all in my calculator and I have a value of 1 times 10 to the power 8 hertz as a frequency. Another example is right here. A global positioning satellite transmits a radio wave with a wavelength of 19 centimeter. What is the frequency of the radio wave? Firstly, we have to convert the wavelength, the centimeter, into meters before calculating. We are going to talk about this more in details and we are going to revise how to convert between distance units. 